So let's start by uh, getting that category list to work. And um, so what, what we need to do is start by getting the category data. So here's the query. Select from categories. Remember this has to be the correct table name. Order by category ID. And that needs to be um, spelled just the way it is in the database. And now I'm assigning um, the results of that query to an array called categories. So I can go ahead and use that in my category list.php um, because I'm including that file here so it's going to have that value. So if I go to that page category list.php um, what I'm going to do for now is, is um, I've added another row and then in the second column I'm just putting the word delete for now and we'll go ahead and add the code later. So in the first column what I'm doing is just echoing out the category name and um, I'm just grabbing that from um, from the category um, the category array that I just got. So remember we also need to add in the f uh, for each loop so that it will um, print out uh, a row for each category. And um, remember that this line um, goes through the categories array and um, grabs each uh, record and puts it in the category array so we can go ahead and grab the category name once we get this set up. So if I save this and um, and then go back to my page I should just be able to refresh it and then um, there's the data on the page. And um, now that we've done that we can go back and add in the code to do the delete. But it's you know it's useful to just do one step at a time and test as test as you go to make sure that each part works. So back in the index file, the code for the delete um, is looks like this. Remember the action is going to be delete underscore category, and um, remember that we're getting to this point from the form, and that form needs to send in the category ID so that we can delete. Um, and notice how I'm spelling these. I'm using the um, underscore. And um, and then, you know, deleting the category is just a matter of calling the function uh, delete category and sending in the category ID. And then once we're done with that, we want to reload this index page and um, list the categories. So the next step is to go back to category list and um, and then add in the code that uh, that will send us back to the index page with the proper action and um, and it, it should also send in the category ID as a hidden variable. So I'm going to pause and and put that code in and then we'll test it. So here's some code that will um, take care of that delete button and let's go through it. Uh, the form action is, it just says dot and that that just means it's going to go back and load um, the index page in the same folder. Um, we're using the post method and um, if we used the get method we could put that um, act action in the query string. Um, but we need to get this category ID from the post, so we're sort of stuck with using post. And um, so um, we need to have a hidden value with the action in it, and um, that action is going to be delete category. And remember that this value has to match with whatever you call it here. Um, so the second hidden value is um, category ID and um, so we're just um, echoing out the value here and um, and so that should uh, it should work let's go and test it. I'm going to test it from here 
So um, when I test it, I am seeing the delete. Now you don't want to delete any of these categories here because um, these are necessary for the rest of the application. Um, so what we can do is if we go into our PHP My Admin. So let's go. Um, let's go ahead and hit the Insert button. And um, I want to put in a value for category name. And I might as well, I could just go ahead and put in two values and hit go. And, um, and so now when I browse, I can see that those values were inserted. So once I go back to this page and refresh, then I have a couple of dummy categories that I can, so I can test the delete. So let me go ahead and, and delete that first value that I put in and we'll see if it works and hallelujah it worked. And um, notice that once I did the delete I went to um, refresh that category list. So, um, so now we have our list working and we have our delete working.